Hey guys, Roden Stack here, and welcome back to episode 3 of the Scotland campaign. Now, the this video was meant to come out last week, but uh, due to being Christmas and New Year's, I just didn't really have time. Um, but anyway, we're back now, uh, New Year's and Christmas is over, sadly, and uh, Britain has now been thrown into another lockdown. Yay! <laughs> Which we all knew was going to happen, because people are too fucking stupid to, and have to go outside their house. <sighs> anyway, um... So yeah, what you've missed, not a lot. I think we are now at the point now where we're actually building up a navy. Fleet ready. And the settings have automatically changed as well. That's that's great. Thanks, game. Stupid fucking useless game. But yeah, building up a fleet at Glasgow, Perth, Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh and Port. There you go. Yeah, building some ships over here. So the king should be able to leave. And then we get some more ships there. Um, and we're training some more troops as well. Um... In the last episode, obviously, we had our massive battle with the king of Norway, killing him in the process, and uh, crushing Norwegian forces in the east. Uh, the main Norwegian army is now uh, over here. Are you to give me Thankfully, they're not exactly in our way, so we can sort of proceed without them. Uh, we are now besieging Dun uh, Dunstaffnage. Uh, two turns that starve out or surrender, or we have to fight it. Um, and eventually, what I'm going to do is get the ship up there, put him in there. Then bring him down, get some troops from here, and then either take Castletown. But at the moment, um, it seems England's sort of like going for it, but I don't really have the troops to do that. Um, do have some decent armies though. Um, I don't know if the prince is inside or the, well, the king now. I don't know if the king's inside, but um, yeah, England sort of just turned up. Wales is also here, so there's definitely a party going on over at Castletown, and Scotland wasn't invited. Uh, so, um, yeah. Um, so I did my over to the Baron's Alliance, trying to remember what the hell I was doing. That's, is that? Yeah, it's our fort there. So we speak to the Barons. I am a little bit concerned that the Barons might attack us, but I don't really know. Okay, England's buggered off. And Norway's just sitting there. Alright, okay, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, there isn't much you've missed, honestly. Um, Greetings, this journey is over. Yeah, that is held by the barons. So we go over there. I had to finally comment her today, actually. Um, okay, there's definitely a big army here. Yeah, the funny comment was this, but it wasn't really funny. I mean, the guy was being directly seriously. He was what is that even the word? Directly seriously. No idea. Maybe it is beyond me. Um, we're semi fleet north, but uh, he was talking about um, it was a video I uploaded to go. Oh god. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, oh, God. They are saying everything at me. Alright, okay. <laughs> Alright, then. Um, right. Let's send you dudes up north. Common's still inside. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll take out... I'll leave the rabble behind and just take out an army. Put that in that fort there, and if they attack that fort with this army, I'm pretty sure I can defeat them. Uh, my fleet's coming up north now. Oh no, we need. To... Oh no, 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 this is bad. That's not good. Do I not have any money for those two other ships? Shit. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not the best, sir. Send my fleet out there. Uh, I'm gonna be able to get one ship out on me. Damn it. Is there anything I can cancel the construction of? Because I do really need that. I could probably cancel that port. I don't really need it. But I need ships to beat the um what's building that what's being built at Sterling? Land clearance. I really do need those ships. <laughs> really do. Uh I don't really want to count for any buildings to be honest, but I need to get out of um Right, fuck it. We'll cancel that. There's no rush to get that built. We can always build farms and shit later. Alright, that'll do. Uh, I could send out this army, but I'm gonna leave it for now. I want to see if they land because I don't want to like leave and then they attack the castle and then take it. Uh, Kirk will stay there for now. Once we need to deal with the Norwegian fleet, and I'm pretty sure we can make it make an assault on them because we can't beat them until we take out that fleet. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, well yeah, back to the comment that I was talking about. Um. Now that comment, uh, someone spoke about the Daigle Simurillion sub mod, uh, not sub mod, mod I did. 
I covered that video like five, six months ago. It was ages ago. And he was spoke about how Tolkien was racist, apparently. Um, yeah. Apparently he was uh, racist, but um, he wasn't. But um, he was talking about how Tolkien is apparently racist towards the men of the East. Like the East of things and that, and saying like they're it's saying like they're based on Muslims, which they're not. <laughs> it's clearly in the law that the Easterlings are um, the same as men. They're just not exactly they're not exactly Arabic, are they? Um, and obviously he spoke. He talked about how uh, the Dagos and Meridian sub mod had um, had people like um, had like Muslim names for like the Easterling factions. And um, that's basically just a medieval two generic thing. There's no, there's nothing in Tolkien's thing that exactly talks about the uh, Easterlings being based of anyone. They're just men. <laughs> that's it. Uh, we leave the diplomat around there. Uh, left the diplomat outside Montgomery. Uh, Dublin is being attacked by the Irish. Not a bad force, sir. But uh, the Dublin garrison is pretty good. So I'll be interested to see how that happens. That starved out in the north, so that's quite handy. Um, the Norwegians are literally just sitting here and <laughs> don't know what they're doing. Okay, let's kick their asses. Hopefully this goes well. Oh, hello. That's an army outside there. I'm pretty sure the king can handle that. Um, hopefully. <laughs> I'd imagine he would. I mean, the king's pretty good. I mean, I'll make him some money as well, so that's good. So the king, so they've landed up here, have they? And they've got quite a few forces. If they laid siege to Kirkwall, I'm pretty sure if Alexander can defend it. I mean, pretty sure I can. <laughs> uh, right. We got some mailed knights, so I'm gonna send them Ooh, down here. And that way, okay. We take out the forces from here. I will leave probably the. Hmm. What can I retrain these guys? So I'm gonna leave them behind. We go down there and take out. Alright, no, that's fine. We upgrade that while we're here. And then we got a decent force to go down and take. No, we haven't. <laughs> Not really. Um, tell you what, let's build some more troops around. Because we need to jam we need to deal with them, otherwise they're just gonna be a pain in the ass. Um Common can stay in that fort for now. I wanna kick the crap out of these Norwegian fleets before they land and attack. Um which is the main plan. Norway is uh, going to be the proper form the side for the entire of the series until they're dead. Aye. So we'll take out what men we can and land here. Um, yeah, I'm going to hope to God that their army is made of crappy militia shit. Um, I could actually just go straight. That's actually rebel. I could actually instead of because all the fleets and stuff are coming east towards Kirkwall Wick, I might instead of going for Castle Town, I might actually go and take. Mo and Sky and uh, I've um what's his name Storm Norway isn't it? I might go and take those because um they're not really garrison that much unless they've got a big army outside. But uh, the Castle Town they don't seem to be doing much. Their fleets miles away, so they can't take ships and invade me. So hmm, yeah, I don't know what to do there. So we've already just attacked the fleet. See what they do. I mean, I could sally out and beat them, but uh, hmm, I don't know. I'd rather the Norwegians be distracted at Kirkwall with Alexander's big army. Um, and that way I can get Duncan to do some battles elsewhere. Um, let's retrain them. Yeah, why not? Okay, Norway is going to attack Kirkwall. Okay. Alright then. I see them sending all their fleets over to... Okay, they're sending everything to... Right. <laughs> okay. So, oh, Edward departs on the crusade. At the request of the papal legate, Edward, the powerful English general and member of the royal family, has departed for the Holy Land. Hmm, interesting. Uh, take rebel something. Be reward. Okay, well, but, I mean, that's alright, money. I'll, I'll take it, but. Okay, that's a decent enough force. I think we can, uh. Though I would like. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna build them. And I'm gonna take out. Something I want to leave right because I have nothing for Duncan to do, he's gonna stay there, he's gonna come out, and uh, we're gonna shove some units with him. Uh, that's gonna be let's take out 
Right, the Gallo Glare got lost a lot of casualties though. Yeah, the bad. Oh, uh, you guys go there. Um, nothing else is too battered apart from the archers, but that's fine. We can suffice. Um, so Duncan will stay there for now, and I'll leave. Yeah, you can go. You can go over to Wick, which uh, maybe we can retrain that later on. Or I could move the forces down here south. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. I probably should. <laughs> Um, but move them south, they can join. And you could go for the Isle of Islay, but I, well, I might just go for that actually because they'd probably starve out. Um, then we send the Highlanders, uh, maybe not because the King's authority is crap. I don't know if they will assault it. I mean, hmm. Right. Get you out here. He won't be in range to do anything, but oh, he's can't, he can't even get anywhere. Oh god damn it! <laughs> oh well, that's that. Uh, new mission: turn report, some siege. Yeah, just basic stuff. Um, yeah. Other than that, we're okay. It's just that we need to deal with Norway, and then once we, once they're dead, once they're dealt with, I think the last battle will be at Castle Town. So we'll have the big battle there. I think that'll be the last. Battle with Norway unless England turns up and takes it, but I don't know what the hell. I think the English, the English are have way too much on their hands for the for uh, dealing with Norway at the moment. Um, because we've got the Barons, they've got the Welsh, the Irish, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> England's got got nothing to play. Are they at war with Norway? No. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of concerned the Barons might attack us, but I don't think they will. I I think that will be a little bit silly of them going. After us like that, but you know, Alexander Common will go south and he'll join up with the forces over down here. Um, because we'll be fighting in the islands for a while and then eventually move up the sky. Um, yeah, we'll see what the, the Norwegians do next turn. Uh, whether or not they attack us or not, or we have to go fight, I'm not sure by now. We'll see. Okay, the siege of Isle of Islay has begun. Uh, it's on the Stuarts we siege alongside Alan de Kilconeth and Patrick Dunbar. Um, we'll bring Alex on the common to join the siege as well, down at Dunstaffnage. And uh, yeah, the Norwegians seem to be farming armies out of their asses lately. There's a huge army outside here. God knows where's that, where that has come from. There's a fucking huge army outside Castletown. How the hell would they have been able to build an army like that in 18 turns without going rummaging into debt? What? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. They must be in debt. I mean, you know, if they're in, if they've got that many armies, ridiculous. They got Sky's got quite a few forces up here, like eight units. Why? I don't know how that's come from. Um, look how many fucking chips they have. All right, okay. Where's that come from? <laughs> and um, look how many armies have just appeared out of here. Great. So um. We're going to be sending our armies up north to uh, assist the king in battle. Um, now, I did do the test earlier, tried to sally out with King Alexander. That failed miserably um, because, number one, the AI is too stupid with inside the settlement. And number two, they, the Norwegians have much better trip. So um, we're going to fight this. Uh, Duncan has a better army than Alexander and he's a better commander. So the only hope of Alexander surviving is if we fight this battle. All right, move faster because I don't have time for you. Norway's over there as well. Um, what have we got over there? It's crossbowmen. Okay, we should be able to deal with that prop easily, I think. In fact, I can just like select this army. This half of the army. Instead of yeah, I can just do that. Which is probably better actually, because that way I don't have such a massive army on this side. Alright, you guys do that. And you get into position over here. Oh wait, what? Why is there... What have they done? I think I sort of been stupid. <laughs> For sake. Right. 
What the hell are the AI AR reinforcement? They're just sort of riding towards me. They've forgotten that we're the allies and we're not the enemy. <laughs> oh, what the hell? There we go. Right, you guys got fire at will on, so you should do perform admirably, hopefully. Probably should have just got you to move. Okay. I don't know what the hell is it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Alexander, what are you doing, man? Just move your army out of the way. Because you're literally in the way. <laughs> Stupid AI. That's what I mean with the AI in this. And if you know, if you look at Dak and uh, Elder Trolls and other stuff, the AI is just so much more improved. But with this... <laughs> oh, God. I do love uh, normal medieval too, but sometimes the AI is just really stupid. There's to the point sometimes where it's just like, oh, what, why? But there you go. Oh, I need to fix my hotkeys as well because I have um, the arrow keys to move about instead of W W A D S D W A D S, which um, it's all right, I guess. I just don't like it like that. All right, the Viking Raiders gonna come attack me or what? Because we're just sitting there shooting at them, <laughs> which is fine by me, but. I would like to do something else. No. Alright. Go deal with them. You attack them. You attack them. You attack them. And then you go and attack them. That's a plan. I kind of want you to go behind them. Let the battle begin! The Highlanders are about the same... I think they're the same stats as them, but I'm not too sure, but whatever, they're fine. They'll do their job, okay? <laughs> <For fuck's sake>. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Don't move forward like that. They have a spear militia. I don't really want to charge the spear militia. No doubt. We are we have decent cap, but I don't think we win. Oh, fuck it. I don't have time. I'm oh, getting there, guys. Not the best of charges, but... Yeah, a really bad charge. Fucking move. Christ. Alright, it's time to advance everything. Um, the enemy are badly bloodied. Right, you guys move up there. there, get the archers behind them, and it's time that this group actually does something useful. Because right now, it's all going to shit over here, so fucking move. Right. Uh, right. You kill them. And what's going on over here? Oh my god, what the fuck happened here? Alright, okay, okay. What? Everyone's just like gone the other direction. Fuck, this is not what I wanted to happen. Oh my god, what the fuck happened over here? What the fuck happened here? What the fuck? What happened? The Highland Pipeman just routed up the face of the field. And... Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck happened here? Ugh. <laughs> this game's really... It's really testing my patience today, isn't it? Get the fuck out of there! Right, who the hell's doing what? Okay, you. No, you're over there. Oh, God. This game today... It's not been a good day, okay? <laughs> Recording. Uh, God, just go over that. Everything's just not going well today. Right, what's happened over here? Have have you done what you're meant to be doing? And where the fuck are you? You're over there. Our men are winning the battle. We We're winning this, we will somehow. The oh god. Right, get you in the field. Right, you guys just run. <laughs> just go that way. 
Right, okay, they're, they're not doing any f Only half so the enemy fuck force me. Right. right. Get them help. Right, we are doing over here. Good over here. Right. Yeah, oh, this has been just a massive clusterfuck, isn't it? Enemy Fucking hell. I generally have had not the best. This has really been a bad day for recording. You not even. No, I don't care about them. Bad day recording. This is. Just, yeah. I've been getting a bit of ice rain lately. I mean, I just been spending too much time on the computer. Unfortunately, when you're on, when you're on lockdown, there's not exactly much you can do <laughs> other than just think. Oh, okay. Let's go. I mean, I could go for a walk. I've done that. <laughs> I mean, once you've been going for walks like this every day, it's just a point where it's like, oh, okay, nothing's really changed. Kill them for a start. General's bodyguards turned up. Great. <laughs> Fucking hell, look at the cluster. Big cluster. Alright, move the archers up. I got them out of the way because I thought they'd just be stupid. Okay, what, what are you doing? You guys move it. Are they round as well? How bad are the Highland Pipe morale? I thought for, you know, they're fighting against the general, right? Yeah, nah, there you go. <laughs> oh, the enemy army flees the field. After them, cut the cowards down. Right. Oh, fuck me. I completely fucking forgot. To actually run them down. Right. Mailed knight. General's bodyguard. What the fuck are you doing? Go over there. Kill them. And where are you? You're being stupid. Okay. <laughs> fucking. Get out of there. I leave the AI for a couple seconds. And they charge into a fucking unit of Viking raiders without my fucking consent. Jesus. When the army is starting to get all clustered, I can't really do any fucking thing. Move. Move. Anything over here. Apart from the cavalry. Fucking get over here. Is there anything that's still in the field over here? No. Gone. Turn around. I've got so fucking tired as well from just doing essentially nothing. Christ. <laughs> what? Why has it gone so fucking badly today? Why today? Oh god. Oh god. And they're routing. Oh, get it. Right, deal with them. I'm starting to think <laughs> at this point. This war has just gone to shit the whole time. It's just not gone the best. You know, it could have gone so much fucking better. But no. <laughs> Which is my fault, <laughs> essentially. Oh, God. Oh, it doesn't help when everything, the morale and over here is just horrible. Um, hopefully, when we go to War of England, at least we'll be in a bit of a better state because we'll have better units by the hand against Norway. Oh god. Over here. What's happened? Alright, you've done your job. Alright, I'd like you to go to A6 if you can handle them. And what's gonna be it? Your route running no, nah, there's only twelve of them. Go over here. By the Saints! Our men have slain the enemy general. Is that the... Without him, his troops will lose the Oh, good, is that fight. bloody idiot? Thank God. Alright, General's bodyguards out of the field. Good. Is there anything that's still fighting? The army flees the field. After them, cut the cowards down. I don't know, do I mean select all of them? No, stay there. Right. 
problem is I'm bloody exhausted. The enemy army the Good, they're dead. After Thank God. <laughs> All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we okay. have won here today. Okay. Oh, oh God, <laughs> I'm gonna have to merge the two armies. I think. Uh, Duncan has won the day. Um, along with Alexander. Ah, a bloody day. A bloody day. Um, didn't really go the way I wanted to go at all. I'm gonna kill them all. That should be their army dead, hopefully. Yep. Uh, we did lose heavy casualties, but at the cost of killing that big army, so... I think, uh, I think it was worth it, despite the, you know, how it all went. What's he got there? Minus one morale. Oh, great. But he gets more... Duncan's pretty badass now. He's better than Alexander. Um, let's go deal with the ships. Oh, look at that. And we sunk seven ships as well. Wow. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> No, this is so gonna fuck me. Ah, fuck me. Oh, that's that's a really bad fucking blow as well. Shit. Shit. There goes my fleet. Fucking hell. <laughs> Just like that, my fleet's gone. Oh god. Right. Um. Anyway, it's time to end the episode off here, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I do apologise that. Um. Yeah, that's why I lost because you were fucking dragon boats. You are very good. But uh, we had severely weakened the Norwegian fleet. This army, this Admiral Malcolm might actually die, which kind of sucks. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, we can build some more ships. Uh, the Barons Alliance has just turned up at our port around the port for some reason. I don't know what they're doing. Hopefully they go away. Um, Norway still has a big army, but there, I obviously was under siege, so eventually we have a battle there or we'll take it, and then eventually move on over to Mull. Um, yeah, I need a ship. I need some fleets back here. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get these two generals out. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. But anyway, guys, I thank you all very much for watching. I do very much apologize if I was playing a bit lazily there. But I don't care. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I play how I play. Um, if you don't like it, don't watch my video. Um, yeah, <laughs> essentially. That's how I play. Um, someday I have bad and good days. But it's all the same for everyone. Uh, no one's going to be perfect at a game. Um, but anyway, I thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later.